So names are beginning to spill out. Uh, names that I think would uh, ring a bell like uh, Cody Shear uh, and Sidney Blumenthal who are known uh, longtime Hillary Clinton advocates. Uh, this was actually before my time in Washington uh, when they were up to a lot of shenanigans, but uh, most of the people who have been around a long time know these characters. They know they're bad, op bad characters in terms of the, the types of things that they're willing to use against political adversaries. Mm. Somehow, uh, what it appears like, if you believe uh, the Washington Post editorial or op-ed, is that these cast of characters were putting information similar to the the, the original Steele dossier, what appears to be in a, a different Steele dossier, yeah. if you believe them, uh, which was attacking Trump and feeding that into the FBI. Uh, and, and, and that's not all we're looking at. I'm glad that uh, they came out and puked their guts out in the Washington Post. I'd like more people to do that. Yeah. But we are actually looking at additional challenges of information that, flew, that went into the State Department and went to the FBI to be used against the Republicans. Congressman, how far up the chain does this go? W was Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton basically pulling the strings? Well, we know that, uh, that uh, the Attorney General was briefed in the spring of 2016, so we know she was made aware. We know now by the people from the State Department who have said that John Kerry, Secretary Kerry, was briefed uh, on the dossier. We know most of the news media was briefed on the dossier. Uh, so all of this was out there, everybody I think but the Trump campaign and Republicans uh, and the American people, everybody else outside of those three groups uh, knew about the dossier and were actively trying to open investigations, start investigations to, to use this dirt to go after the other campaign. Incredible. So we know that Hillary Clinton goes to run for president and she's got the full weight and strength and power of the U.S. government behind her. Uh, where FBI and other and agencies are completely, completely politicized to make sure she wins and she's still lost. This is just an extraordinary story. And, and and not only that, yeah. uh, Maria, but I'd also add that, that collu the collusion is right in front of our eyes. Yeah. Right? People, just because you hire a lawyer who hires a firm, who hires a former British spy to, to make contacts with Russians. Yeah. That means that you were colluding yeah. with the Russians. Right. That's called collusion. Okay? Yeah. And collusion and corruption that's called at collusion the top of the FBI. And, yeah. And nobody's, look nobody's looking at that. Congressman, we are. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. We'll be right back. My pleasure.